Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today bringing you guys and gals a fairly short chapter review of Bleach. Yeah. Say it with me now. Taite Kubo's Finest. Is there a little bit of drool coming? Yeah. Oh, you. Jesus. Gotta clean myself up. What the? What the fuck am I doing? All right. <laughs> Taite Kubo's finest. <laughs> See, that actually knocks away. <laughs> it's gone. Gone. The moment's gone. All right, fuck it. Taite Kubo's finest work, chapter 663 review. Jesus Christ. If you have not seen the live reaction, as always, there will be an annotation right here, as well as a link in the box below. Now, this chapter of Bleach, right? <sighs> Unlike the previous chapter, which was, yes, we're getting some good stuff here. In this chapter, flip it around, no. We're getting a lot of bad stuff. And Kubo, I am unsure as to when it started because I can't say that this was always the format. I really can't. But as of late, it is the format where the villains have some type of power and it just so happens that the good guys have some type of crazy hidden transformation or zampato or whatever weapon that directly counteracts the broken powers of the villain and well it's just a downhill spiral from there however in this case the downhill spiral is stopped because now that Yorichi is out of the picture, and Noctilver has transformed, and we have the Gift Ball Deluxe going on in the background, there's only one man standing in front of Noctilver, and that man is Urhar Kiske. So it looks like the downward spiral was momentary, because Kiske is now in the mix, and we're going to hopefully see a Bankai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is one Bankai, Kubo, you must show. You see... Kyoaku, okay, people want to see his Bankai, and we got to see his Bankai, and it's still like, what the fuck is going on here? Not as bad as Unahana's, so though. Unahana's is still like, I don't I don't even, like, what? what? But, listen, when it comes to Kisuke's, this better be well thought out, well formatted, no weird shit, like with Kyoaku, like, all of a sudden, Obis, yeah, like, wh where is this coming from, bro? No, 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 no. This better be well thought out because people have been theorizing for eons since the beginning of Bleach. Well, okay, not that long, but for a very long time about Urahara's Bankai. And we're expecting good things. Now, if we don't get to see Noclevar versus Urahara, then uh, that's a middle finger. But it looks like he is setting it up. Yorichi is out of commission, as is Yushiro. Urahara is the only dude there. Only dude there. Make it happen. So you have that set up and all that's for story. But overall, still a bad thing. Because again, it's the same... Oh, it's the same monotonous bullshit format. Oh, oh my god, you have this power, but my power can counteract yours! Transformation! Yay! Like, no. No. Please stop, dude. I mean, granted, I like the warrior princess. This is cool. But... I mean, 48 times a second, my reactor can change. But you can only acquire an immunity every minute. What? So, yeah. That's bullshit. Character-wise, Yorichi does get some more... I mean, granted, this whole thing's for her character. For the most part, with the exception of the ending. Where Noclevar does reveal that he has this complete holy form. Where it is... I like it. Uh, it looks funky, and I kind of dig that. I do. Yorichi, I can't ignore the fact that she was impressive. The warrior princess state is... It's kooky. And only Urahara can rein her in. Only Urahara. So, that may allude, that may imply the strength of the bond between those two. Like, the strength of their bond is deep. But how deep it is, is not clearly known. And I'll leave it at that. So, that all being said, when it comes to the overall rating of the chapter, I'm going to say that the chapter is an okay chapter. Because it would have been subpar at best, but it's okay 
mainly because of the setup for the next chapter. Where you're setting up something big with a character that has to that has yet to show off what he can really do in combat. Naklevar and Yorichi did get some characterization. Yorichi more so than Naklevar, but Naklevar still had that final hidden transformation state, like most Quincy do with their final forms. I think he was actually saved from death via that transformation. Just how Chengdu was going to die from Hitsugaya's attacks, and he came back to life because, or he was able to be saved from the grasp of death because he transformed, the same thing may have applied to Naklevar in this case. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. So overall, the chapter is going to be okay, and I'm done. So King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day.